subscribe. We have some huge lore implications in today's video, and Yarnaby was just confirmed to be in Chapter 4. Recently, one of the Chapter 4 ARG audios revealed a spectrogram, and the audio showed an image reading some real-life coordinates to real places. Text located at the top read, See you there. Content creator Sheep Rampage took it upon himself to travel to the coordinates and receive whatever was there. When he got there, there was a weird white tin box covered with smiling critter stickers. When he opened the package, there was a huggy inside with some stuffing and a lot of yarn. Now the question is, why is there so much yarn? Well, a while back, a character called Yarnaby got leaked using the trademark site Mob Entertainment was using. And of course, for a while now, we didn't really know a lot about him until now. The Huggy Plush was stitched together with some green yarn, and after Sheep Rampage got it open, he uncovered two papers. The first one's title read, Game Station Test Subject Assessment Form. The subject that they were testing is Quinn Navidson. Her proctor's name is Matteo Lata, and finally her assigned toy is Yarnaby. Quinn is Yarnaby. Now calm down because there is more on this note. Quinn's musical memory performance was 3 out of 5. The notes read, several mistakes, but finished with roughly part-time. This means that Yarnaby is not that good at remembering things, but has a little knack at doing so. Nextly, his wacka wuggy performance was 2 out of 5, with the note, Quinn's awareness and response time leaves a lot to be desired. Frequently miss their target. Now we know that Yarnaby has trouble aiming at stuff, so maybe if he attacks us in chapter 4, we can easily dodge his attacks. And finally, his statue's performance was 3 out of 5, with the notes, completed the obstacle course within expected time, but lost once and was instructed to restart. Now, the second paper is basically the same one, but with Harley Sawyer as his proctor. Nothing really special, except from a sticky note attached to the paper. It reads, can't find 1166's files. It needs to get more organized. We need some sort of recovery command. Now, what does this mean? Well, typing in recover into the Chapter 4's ARG site, we get a little pop-up that asks for a command. Now, using Yarnaby's code name, 1166, we get a file downloaded onto our computer. When opening this file and opening an image, we get this. A conversation between Quinn, the child aimed to be turned into Yarnaby, and Dr. Sawyer. The transcript reads, Quinn. Might I ask what it is you're doing? Making my toys prettier, Dr. Sawyer. And you think they'd be prettier without heads? I think so, their heads get in the way of their bodies. But if you put Dolly's head from this body over here onto this one, see? He moves all better now. I do, see. I'm sure this is no surprise to you, Quinn. But your counselors are concerned. They perceive your behavior. What you're doing right now to be troublesome. Oh. I'm sorry. Do you agree with their assessment? I don't know that word. I just want to th make things prettier. Yes, don't we all? You want to know what I think, Quinn. I think you hold back a lot of yourself. I think you mess up to make others have lesser expectations for you. And I think this, your behavior, is just a result of seeing the world a little differently. There's nothing wrong with that. And I think in your next test, you will give all of yourself to achieve a good result. Do you know why? Why? Because I see you, and not the version of you others want to see. And believe me this, I want the same prettier world you see. So next week, when you have another go at the game station, I'll be watching. And I want to see all of the real Quinn on display. Do we have a deal? Okay. Good. Don't disappoint me. Now this means that Dr. Sawyer really wants Quinn to do good on his tests. Probably so he can do bad things to Quinn, like turning him into Yarnaby. Now, I think Yarnaby can switch body parts because Quinn was doing so when bored, thinking it was making them prettier. Dr. Sawyer also responded in a pretty weird way, saying, I do, see, with I do in caps. So, what do you think? Make sure to comment below. The developers also dropped one more paper. It is a daily checkup on 1166. It reads, Weekly checkup. Subject, 1166 observations this report will ultimately serve as an echo of those prior i report no change in the subject 
He eats little, weighs his about in a cell, and performs substernant on all physical tests. With the removal of his master, 1166 appears lost. Despite Sawyer's apathy, the subject formed an attachment of sorts. Without whatever sense of comfort or stability that brought him, his motivation has been sapped. He sits, stares, listens, and only acts with aggression whenever I approach him. He truly just doesn't care anymore. Conclusions The mind of an animal does not process grief in the same way as people. If a dog's master dies, it waits around at the same places and wanders where the scent is strong, thinking someday its master has to return. A hole forms in their life, and without higher processing, they must walk around it forever, or simply allow themselves to fall in. But 1166 is not fully an animal, even with his mannerisms and behavioral characteristics suggest as much. Whatever boy there is deep inside, I think he's scared, broken down by isolation over too long a time for us to salvage much of what's still inside of there. He was designed for one purpose, and one purpose only, a design made flawed by paranoia and ego, in that he's a failure by design. Someone above my pay grade can decide what to do with him. For now, we can sulk and spend his days wishing for a master that, I can guarantee you, didn't care for him at all. We can see the same logo with the multiple boxes colored red, blue, and yellow that we've seen before. So once again, this will probably have some important role in chapter 4. Anyways, what does this note mean? Well, 1166 acts similar to a dog, even though he isn't one. He sits around in pain waiting for his master to come back, which I think in this situation is Harley Sawyer. Anyways, there's much more that I can't cover quite yet because I have to push this video out. But do you think people will uncover what's at the other locations? Who knows? Maybe you'll be one of them. See ya.